and Luigi video game hacker here again with a bubble matching game called Bubble Witch Saga that I used to play. Uh, here I'm loading up the game using Cheat Engine 6.6 .6 again. There is a type of bubble in this game called the Arcane Bubble that just destroys everything but they're hard to get or you have to spend a lot of money. So here I'm opening up Flash as you've seen me do in other videos and I'm opening up a level to play now first I'm gonna need infinite moves so here I'm gonna have to do a search uh, I can't search for the known value in the pot I have to shoot a bubble and put one it's counting how far down the value goes so I shoot another bubble so I've done two. So search for values that are now two. Sometimes uh, a bubble will make more than one bubble disappear and screw your count up. So you have to be aware how far down the count in the cauldron goes. Now I have my value. I'm going to lock it in. I have infinite lot moves now. And I'm going to browse this region of memory. So there is the address. Now I'm going to go down 20 in hexadecimal, which is 32, and go back 4 and change this value to 1, and lo and behold, my bubble is now an arcane bubble, and it kills everything. So if I hit it again for change it to 1, I get another one. So I'm going to add this address to the list. There it is. And now if I change that to 1, the bubble comes back arcane, and I'm going to lock it in. I can finish the entire level with the arcane bubble. Now, the only problem with this is that each level, the address where this information is stored will change. So I'm going to show you something a little different this time, how to make a code that will work on every level, even if the value changes every level. So I'm going to let my score go up so I can get my three stars. And I'll do that by leaving the value of moves I have left. Look at that, all those arcane bubbles. That would cost you a fortune if you had to purchase them. A small fortune. <laughs> so letting that uh, do its thing. And now I'm going to go to another level. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to find out what accesses the address that creates those bubbles, and I'm going to modify it. So here we go, letting the next level load up, and we're going to play. Now, same thing, I'm going to lock in the number of moves counting as I shoot bubbles. Fortunately, this level, none of the uh, bubbles I broke is going to make the count go down by more than one. And after a couple more shots, I'm going to have my value. And it's going to be a different address than I used on the last level. That's why I saved those last two uh, addresses to show that it is a different value. So now I have my value, and I'm going to lock it in. So I have infinite moves at this point. Now I'm going to browse memory, browse that address, that region. Going to do the same thing, go down 20, and over back 4, change it to 1. Now I'm going to add that to the code list. And I'm noticing that the value is at 16 with now, which is a little awkward. So I'm just checking behind myself to make sure I didn't mess something up. Everything looks good. So I'm showing here how the value is different from the last level. And everything looks good there. So what I'm going to do 
Now I'm going to find out what address accesses this. So I've opened the debugger and that address up there I'm going to replace with a code that does absolutely nothing. So the value is not going to change and lo and behold I have infinite arcane bubbles. But the thing that's going to be different is when I go to the next level I will also have infinite arcane bubbles and I won't have to do anything. I won't have to rehack the value for the level. This will work on every single level of the game. So now I'm going to get my score and demonstrate that it does work for the next level. And all the arcane bubbles score going up to get the three stars. go. So now I have to uncheck the infinite moves or it'll just keep going forever racking up score. So now I get my well done and I can move on to the next level. And it's there we go it's loading. Now let's see play and I have not hacked for the bubble yet but there it is I can play continue to play the game as long as I don't end my game and uh, dis thereby disconnecting the uh, the cheat engine tool from the uh, flash in which case I would have to start over but it is possible to save the information, but that's for another video. And I can just go ahead and finish this level. I didn't even bother hacking the number of moves, which is not important at this time. However, I will get my three stars by using a hack that's pretty well known, simple known value score hack. So I'm putting in the score, and there we go. Now I have my three stars and I can just go ahead and finish the level. And wow, that was easy. This is great for levels that cheat you. Sometimes a game will glitch and oh man, I, I cleared that level and it cheated me out of it. Well, when games cheat, I cheat back. You know, I, I don't take no crap from any video game. And so we're done here. I can enter a message if I like to my viewers. And I hope to make lots more videos, some showing, you know, more extensive stuff that I do. Some I'm going to make some videos that are for my hacker buddies that understand the real complex stuff. And some videos that show actually all the hard work that goes into creating some of these codes. You know, it looks easy when uh, you know where the values are located. It's a lot of work to find the codes sometimes. And I'll leave everybody with this message. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be putting up more and more as I find time, but uh, I do have a life, unfortunately, outside of game hacking. And it does require me to do things like earn a paycheck. So peace out.